Up till now, we've been working with Sidekick using a plain Ruby project. In today's episode, we're going to look at deployment. To make it a bit more realistic, I provided a basic Rails application that we're going to be deploying in the Resources section. Let's get started. In the Resources, you can find an archive containing a basic Rails application with a single controller that can be used to send an email. We're going to deploy this application to Heroku and set it up to use Sidekick to process background jobs. We'll start off by untarring the application. So let's look at what the controller looks like. Here you can see that when we hit contact, it's just going to enqueue this contact email using the active job deliver later. So it's using Rails active job. Let's look at config application.rb, and you can see that we've told active job that it should use Sidekick as its queue adapter. So now Rails is going to enqueue work using Sidekick. So let's deploy this to Heroku. create the app and we'll push to it. Okay, now that that's done, we can copy the URL and open it in our browser here. And we can see the form. If we fill this out, we expect it to send us an email. but we get an error. So let's look at the logs. Okay, so we can see it can't connect to Redis. So we got an error because there's no Redis configured for storing our jobs. So when we call deliver later, it tried to store a new job in Redis, but there was no Redis server to talk to. We can add the Redis to go add-on in Heroku to provide a Redis server for us to use. So we'll call Heroku add-ons create, Redis to go nano, And that will give us a Redis to go URL environment variable, but Sidekick's looking for a Redis provider environment variable. So we'll configure the Redis provider to just be a mirror of that. And also our application is looking for an email recipient environment variable to figure out where to send the email to. So we'll set that up. And this should be sufficient for us to enqueue jobs. So it's restarted and we'll try again. Okay, so something seems to have happened. Let's look at the logs. Okay, so something happened, but we have nothing happening over here. We would expect to see a worker show up in the logs here, and it never does. And that's straightforward enough. That's because we haven't started a worker. So we want to run a Sidekick server on a Heroku dyno. And to do this, we want to edit our proc file. Right now, there's not one. So we'll add a proc file. And we're going to specify how to run the web as well as the worker. So the web, straightforward, it just runs Rails server with the port. For the worker, we bundle exec Sidekick, and we specify the production environment. So let's go ahead and add that. And we'll push it to Heroku master. Okay, and now we want to tell Heroku to scale up a worker process. So we'll Heroku PS scale worker equals one. So that should have spun up a worker and we already had an email in the log or in the in the Redis queue. So let's have a look. Let's go ahead and try again. Okay, and in queued, we still see nothing happening here in terms of the worker. So let's have a look. We see up here that the worker was started and it's looking at the default queue. So is that right? Let's look. So we'll Heroku run console. We'll require the Sidekick API, and we'll call Sidekick queue all to find all the queues. And we have a queue that has some jobs in it, but it's called mailers. So the problem is our worker is only looking in the default queue, and our mailer jobs only live in the mailers queue. So this is because of how Rails 4 uh, sets mailers in a queue. In Rails 5, it's going to use the default queue for its mailers. So rather than modify our sidekick, we're going to tweak Rails. So let's open up config initializers action mailer.rb. And we'll open up action mailer delivery job. And we'll just say it should queue as default. Okay, so we're going to commit that.
and we'll deploy it. Okay, so let's go ahead and send another email. And let's look at our logs again. Okay, so we have something happening with the worker here. If we have a look, we can see that it had an error. It says, unauthenticated sender is not allowed. So this is actually expected. I'll show you how our email is working right now. Oops, config environments production. At the bottom, you can see we've configured it to use send grid. So it's looking for these two environment variables, and they don't exist because we have not added that add-on. So we'll add the send grid add-on. So it's Heroku add-ons create send grid starter. Okay, so let's try again. Send the email. You can have a look at the logs. And this time there were no errors. So let's go make sure the email came came in. Okay. And we got the email. Hello from Daily Drip. Alright, so in today's episode we saw how to configure Sidekick on a newly deployed Rails application. We configured it to play nicely within the parameters of our Redis instance, and we ensured that it executed Rails mailer jobs. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon!